Hello there. Well, <clears throat> tonight I decided to make a uh, KSP to uh, Redstone Mercury uh, rocket. So uh, what I took was uh, a lot of stock parts and I made the capsule and the uh, rocket um, just out of some easy techniques in the VAB. <clears throat> so what I did here, it's on the launch pad, it's ready to go. Um, <laughs> I had a few flights of this beforehand that didn't go as well as I wanted. Uh, there wasn't any countdown because I had reflown this more than a few times, so here we are, taking off, and it's doing its thing. I kind of did a checkerboard pattern with up top, that's kind of what they did on the redstone rocket. I added some struts to the top of the capsule, uh, along with a few pieces to make it look more like a mercury capsule. Uh, the struts are the launch escape system, and then there's four retro rockets in it. So it should pull it away from the rocket body if something were to happen. It's a very stable system I've got set up here. This, it's flying true as an arrow right now. Let's just sit back and watch for a little minute. I'm starting to make my turn. I'm making it a little bit early, but this is a suborbital flight. We're not going into orbit. We're just going to leave the atmosphere. So typically you want around 10,000 meters. You're going to start making your turn. Oh, look at the beautiful graphics. One thing I can say, this game does look good. They're working on the bugs. It's, it's going to be such a great game once they get all the bugs worked out. Yep, making that turn. So you see the, the apoapsis and the periapsis below the ball that's moving around. Down it says orbital info. Uh, my apoapsis is the highest part of the arc. The periapsis would be the lowest part of an orbit. I need to get that apoapsis up above 70,000 meters and I will be in space. So right now, you can see I'm kind of messing with angles a little bit. Just trying to make sure I get up out of the atmosphere. So I already know that I am at this point because I still have 700 meters of delta V left. about to run out of Delta V now. Launch escape system is gone. You turn the capsule around kind of like uh, Alan Shepard and Gus Grissom did. But the only problem was is I forgot to make it so that the rocket body would move away uh, by putting a few retros on it. Um, so this was kind of... <laughs> A little bit embarrassing because the rocket kind of I was trying to move the spacecraft away from the rocket body and uh, the booster and it it just kept getting closer so I ended up running into it a few times doesn't hurt anything uh, we're both going relatively the same speed but in real life in no way in hell would you want that to happen <laughs> yeah I was doing all I could because I knew I was recording and I was like god this sucks thought I could just scoot past this fin, but it hits it one more time on the way past. I may make another one of these videos, but I, I kind of like the, the simplicity of this. Um, it works really well. You can kind of see the Kerbal's head bouncing around inside there. 
they don't have interior shots yet. Uh, that's going to be my next. That was part of a video I did on KSB one years ago, about four years ago. I actually had interior shots. You could see the booster back behind the capsule and you could see it floating around just like the Mercury astronauts saw. So at some point we did retro burn. I didn't film as much as I want to. Looks like we're going to come in. That will pull back a ways to the other side of that peninsula where it shows we're going to crash. We'll be in the water. Uh, you always get some atmospheric drag when you come back in. So, yeah. it's They come back down. They don't have atmospheric effects, unfortunately. Yet. That's coming. Yeah. Perfect. some bugs going on with the uh, parachutes I, I I put the parachutes in the body of the spacecraft I could have I could have put them in a different spot or I could have just had one one parachute what I wanted to do is have three I put three just to make sure it went nice and slow Well, 5.5 meters, that's just creeping. Um, the problem you're going to see here is, is for some reason, when you hit the water, the parachutes don't unfurl and go away. Like in the old game, and like it was doing before. So I think this was a broken thing. When it hits the water, they stay deployed, and the craft goes into the water like the parachutes than the top of the craft. I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on here, and you'll see here in a minute. So I had to end up just hitting basically the escape button and, and recovering the vehicle. Yes, see this. It's it's like weirdly in the water, and then it goes deeper, and so then I start realizing what's going on, and I notice it starts sinking more. And also, that's why I was thinking, um, I better recover this vessel before I lose the guy. <laughs> yeah, it started sinking. It wasn't good. Get him out of there. That was my first thought. Anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching.